I had zero expectations about this show, to the point where I called this Sword Art Offline, which, honestly, it's not too, you know, off the point, because, you know, this is kind of like SAO, where you're in a game, you're stuck in the game, but now the game is kind of like offline, because you're stuck in it, 500 years has passed, and our main character has been basically sent, not I guess he's kind of sent in the future, right? Five years has passed and he's like, what's going on? The premise of the show is pretty interesting because we're the only person and like a sentient, I think we're the only sentient player and everyone else is a bunch of NPCs that are now acting sentient because like we're like stuck here, right? A lot of things has passed in the 500 years, like, to, like the kingdom or the castle being, you know, rising. And then apparently we are like the moon sanctum and the main elf girl the silver-haired elf girl i think is gone and we're trying to find her but besides that i think we left off with like fighting some kind of monster and we're so op to the point where we like knocked a sword the sword went flying and then landed in like the princess's chamber or something like that right let's see what's gonna happen in episode two <laughs> all the girls so far in this show has had like Peak fucking design. Yeah. Yeah. Hara, maybe? Hara member? Alright, what's going on? Oh shit? Jesus. We didn't do that, right? There are soldiers coming back from war? No. Skull face. The guy that we fought last episode, right? I think. That was us? Into the princess's chamber, maybe? How could they trace the sword back to us? Unless we confess, how could they know? Oh. Yes, I've taken out Skullface. Oh, yeah, that's right. We just killed him. Alright, well, the entire guild just go. What? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I mean, but I'm the main character, though. Why? What? Okay, I think I. It, it, last episode, did we, did we raise her up? I don't remember raising her up that much, but she's already down bad. Too close, too close. The Gap Moe. Gap Moe. Ooh, Erif! 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 She's not very well endowed compared to the other characters, which is elf accurate lore, right? They're all flat. Was it really an impressive though? How rare is this gem? Okay, so the undeads are basically kind of like Jujutsu Kaisen where they're created off like the negative emotions. But this is of the lingering grudges of the fallen. Okay. Northern forest. The more people die there, more grudges they have, more monsters. Got it? 300! Oh! I mean, I have no reference point, but I guess that's a huge number, right? Praise the gem, and it can see how strong the monster was. <laughs> Could you keep that between us? I don't want to attract attention. Says the guy that just shows up when they're talking about Skullface Jack being so important outside and the people being wounded coming in. He bro shows up to the fucking receptionist. He's like, oh, I kill Skull Jack. Easy. I get it. He's completely new here. He didn't know what the gem was. He has no reference point of what these levels maybe even mean, but he played the fucking game. Are you sure you don't want to like stand out? You're basically flexing on these hoes. Sure, bro. Sure. Other girl. Sister. Sirika and Serika, right? Sirika and Serika. Twins and then... Don't one of them also have a different part-time job outside of something, right? Like, I, I remember, there, like, she works at the guild receptionist, but then she also works at, like, a tavern or a cafe. This is the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they both, so they both work here. 
Both the twins have a part-time job at this tavern. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's the guy with the spear in the opening. With the huge fucking cleavage, bro. He shows more skin than any of the girls in this show so far. <laughs> One pack, two pack, three pack, four pack. Bro's got like an eight pack, right? Eight pack with these pecs right here. I'm not sure. We gotta see it. Oh, magic spear. Legendary weapon. What's up? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? We're supposed to be terrified of his name, Wilhelm? Is that an insult? Oh. Oh. Are, we, are we allowed to talk shit? Doreen. Okay, okay. I think Wilhelm is actually a good person. Wilhelm so far seems to be like a person that people are scared of because of his external appearance. But his external appearance, he's showing so much fucking cleavage. Anyways, I think he's a good person. And he's not like an evil person. We're like best friends. Just eating together. Why did bro like sit at our table? What? What? Because he saw the armor and he was like, that's not normal, right? He saw this kid and he was like, oh, someone new is here. This is very interesting, right? Or did they have not enough tables and they just have to share the seat? Are you serious? No shot. No shot. Really? He, they were just... Okay. Oh. <laughs> they just didn't have enough tables. So they just sent them here. Okay, okay. That's kind of funny. Let's learn about the history of this place. What happened in the 500 years? Dusk of Prosperity. That's when everyone obviously logged out. Yeah. Elf, Beast, Dragnir. I think there's a... It's like a race called Lord? Right? Dwarf. Pixie Human Lord. What the fuck is a Lord, bro? Like, I get all these different races. But bro is just a lord? Okay. Important people of the guilds. The sword is flown away. The armor, kind of trash. The letter from uh, the fucking Moonlight Sanctum. No! <laughs> 359 impossible Bakana! Because he's hired the Wilhelm. Okay, so before they mentioned about Jack level, King level, so these tiers of monsters are based on like face cards, right? So there's gonna be like Jack, King, Queen, King, Queen, King, Ace, maybe even Joker level? Who knows? But that's kind of the pattern I'm seeing. So there can be Skullface King. Skullface, not only Jack. I thought that was his name. But it's just the Skullface of Jack level. I wonder if there are any other numbers beneath like Jack, you know, like 10 to like 1 if they exist. This is how we're gonna get traced back. Well, she seems actually excited to meet us. She's not angry. Light element. What? No. Why would he? Why would Jack have such a sword? Two things. Well, we know how he beat him because he's the main character. But why does Skullface Jack have such a legendary tier holy fucking sword? That makes no sense. He's like, Skullface Jack. He's already like, an, did he pick it up from like a victim? Mm -hmm. <laughs> just eat just eat it all while staring at the kid. Don't give the kid any. Just eat it all. Uh, no. 
All right, furry friends made. You gonna pay for that kid? You got money, kid? Oh, it's not a beggar? It's just a random kid? Midi. Onichan. Onichan. Hmm. Wilhelm. Wait. Wilhelm takes care of Midi? What the fuck? He's such a good person. Bro helps out at the church's orphanage? Dude, Wilhelm is actually such a good person, right? So externally, he looks kind of cold and mean, but he's just like such a warm little teddy bear that takes care of kids at the orphanage, man. A little softy inside. She just fucking hustled us out of the skewers. I thought she was a fucking beggar. Turns out she already had dinner prepared at the fucking church, bro. She fucking scammed us. All right, bye-bye, Miri. What? Oh, I thought there was something sussy was gonna happen. It's like, oh, this is our tiger culture of kissing, you know, random people. But okay, whispering, important stuff. Please save them. Who's there? Who are we saving? Fox. Fox girl, MILF, MILF? Cause you're OP, but how would Midi know that he's OP? Midi could just sense that he's strong? Hmm? Oh, that's right, that's Sword. His old sword, right? Oh, Shinee sword. Oh. Not everyone can wield it. And it's called an ancient weapon because it's a weapon made before the Great Disappearance or something? Hmm. Swallow you up, huh? Hmm. What else do you want to swallow? Actually get swallowed up by... Okay. Pretty cracked mats, I guess. What? What's going on? It's basically just like insane endgame monsters that shouldn't be so casual to her. Letters. What, really? You name a... It doesn't go. <laughs> That's kind of funny he went outside the door and sent it. なるほど。カード自体は問題ないが、考えられる原因は多分こっちの世界で面識があるかどうかだろうな。もしよかったらだけどいくつかもらえないかしら。She's gonna be a mage. Okay. Wait, but like, so like, this item is not publicly known everywhere? So like, e even the idea that you just write a name or write something in their name and send it just goes to them. Shouldn't this be like an insanely ridiculous legendary item if it gets released to the public? Yeah, I'm gonna assume it's more ancient stuff related. Ancient basically means people that existed before the logout, right? The master is not Shni or him, right? So there's a separate. Is it Shni? Okay, never mind. It's Shni. I'm like, I was like, oh wait, is there another elf milf? Okay, the fox is gonna be a milf though, right? Ooh, scary. Ooh. Oh, it's got like a shrine made in temple design. Yeah, the kitsune stuff, right? What did he shatter? Did he shatter the barrier without even knowing it? What did he just crack? Fox. Alright, it's in its regular fox form though. What does it look like in a human form? A tiny fox makes me think it's gonna be a lolly. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Hello? Uh oh, undeads are coming, guys. CGI skeletons, but our main character is fucking cracked. It shouldn't matter. What's he gonna do? Hmm. 
Have we seen him use a spear before? I don't think so. All right. Name techniques on these mobs? That's actually so quick. Okay, what's next? There's two more. There's two more. Statues? Hold up. Mm, we can still do this. I feel like our main character is too fucking strong. Like, I don't feel scared. Why don't we beat him and then they turn into uh, MILFs? 674. That's basically double the level, nearly the double of the uh, skeleton jack. Okay, one's got like ice powers, one's got fire powers. Dispel the miasma and free them and maybe they'll serve us, bro. Bro's got like shadow magic? It can't be! Not my shadow bind! What the fuck's going on, bro? Come on now. We actually in danger? No full strength still. I want to see full strength. Could Say something! Stop saying could. Oh, it's the summoning thing. Before. Wait. The fuck is an arc bind? Bro just comes out and he skills out of his asses, bro. Holy shit, all these name techniques! I don't know, because like the monsters are like, you know, there's no actual threat. I, as a viewer, have no sense of, like, this is dangerous, you know? And he just like randomly pulls out skills out of the, his fucking ass. So it's like, oh, cool. We got a fucking new name strike. And there's nothing wrong with it. But it's like, don't expect me to get super hyped up over some random ass fucking skills that I've never fucking heard of on monsters that I know we're going to beat, right? Now, where's the MILF? Give me, give me the fox girl MILF. Don't be a lolly. I swear to God, it's going to be a lolly, isn't it? Little fox. Level? The new gate! You should look humanoid. Hmm. Meaning that, you know, it's gonna be a fucking lolly, right? The bigger they are, the, you know, the more milfy they're gonna look like. Alright. We've had a lot of milfs, you're right. Here it comes! So I guess she's our familiar, kind of? Oh, this is cool. Cool? Cool? Millie wants us to save her. How did Millie even know that this child fox was there? Maybe the child fox is one of the members of the church's orphanage? Maybe they were friends before. I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, Midi, what's going on? Wait, that's she, 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 you were alive! Wait! So, like, he couldn't send a letter to her. He was trying multiple times. But Tiara was able to send it using. Why? Why was Tiara able to do it, but we weren't, right? The letter just wouldn't send. So there's something interesting going on. Is there some kind of mechanic that I'm not aware of? It's, it's his theory that she should be able to reach him, but he couldn't reach her. He has not seen her in this world, and therefore it's just not available yet. Because this is a new game. It's a ZANYU GATES! The letter only sends if you're able to meet her again. I think that makes sense. Shani, there she is. Another elf, Erisfu. She said Aruji. And that's the episode. Uh, so far? Is there anything special going on? Well, the, there's an interesting system of like the under, the, uh, the undead. And you, you know, you have like the jack level, you know, the king, queen, maybe ace level tiers, right? But other than that, we got like a leveling system. The guild people are kind of, you know, very wary of, uh, who the slayer, right? We're trying to kind of hide the identity, right? Because we don't want it to be known. But this guy, royal guy, is trying to figure out, like, yo, the person that took out that skull jack guy. And I think he's the one that sent the swords flying. So he's the connection towards the, um, the main character and meeting the princess. And the princess doesn't even seem to be mad, right? She seems to be pretty interested in what could have done this. Millie, pretty cute tiger girl, right? She's from the orphanage, the church orphanage of... And, and, and this guy, Wilhelm, works in it. Wilhelm seems like a pretty chill guy, right? He just seems a little cold. He seems kind of not evil, but a little hostile to any normal person. But inside, there's a very softy in there. So that's kind of nice. So next episode, maybe we're going to somehow get summoned to the rural capital. But we also have to figure out, you know, what does the humanoid form of our little elemental foxes, which is definitely going to be a lolly. But that's it from me.
if you're still here. If you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.